Hey everybody, it's Paula here from the XR Club and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to look at the use of filled maps. Visualizations are often much easier to get a grasp of than pouring over spreadsheets of tables of data and using a filled map is a great tool for displaying geographical values. So in this video, we're going to look at how you can create a filled map using Excel. But before we get stuck in, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that little notifications button so you don't miss any more of my videos. So if you're ready, let's get stuck in and let's look at filled maps in Excel. I have some sample data that we are going to play with. We have some data by country, we have some data by county, and then we also have some data by visitors. Now what I have found is not all geographical data will actually be recognized by the fill maps, and I wanted to show you that in this video. First of all, let's take our country data. So I have Italy, Spain, France, and Ireland. And to insert a map chart, we go to insert, and then we go to maps and select fill maps. So this will create a filled map for us. And I'm just going to increase the size of that map so you can see it. Now it'll fill the map based on the regions, but the color and the depth on the color will depend on the actual value. So the higher value having the deeper colors and the smaller values having the lighter colors. For example, if we were to change that and make that a much higher value, we can see that Ireland goes much more of a dark blue than what it was. Let's just change that back for a moment so we have a better visualization. Now, if we select on the chart and we select format data series, format data series is going to give us some map options. Map options include map projections, it includes map area, and it includes map labels. Let's take a look at what these are. So we have map area, which is automatic at the moment. We can select world, and this is going to show us the whole of the world. Now when we have the whole of the world selected, you can change then the map project projection, and each one of these will give you a slighter, slightly different view to the actual map and how the map is actually presented to you. So you can change them like that. Now you can also change so it shows the multiple countries and regions and that will zoom in to something more local like Europe because it's Europe that we've selected in this case. Or we could select only regions with data and the rest of the maps will kind of be greyed out. Then we have the map label. So we have best fit only and show all. So that's when it's trying to select things. Now in here under series color, we have an option between three color series or a two color series. Two color series keeps things nice and easy for people to read. So we could pick a different color. We could pick a, a yellow from a light yellow to a dark, we could nearly go orange there, a light yellow to a dark orange to show the different scaling that is involved. We can do other formatting things such as adding chart data labels and we could also add in a legend or we can remove our legend. So we see our visitors up here being our, le our legend and the scale that is involved in them. Now you can change your chart title. You can also then in your chart elements change your data labels and your legends. And you can go in and check different styles and different colors as well. Now as I mentioned, this filled chart, I've been testing it with different data. And to be honest with you, it's not really a chart that works with all geographic locations. I am going to delete this chart for a moment. We are going to select our county, and these are counties in Ireland. So I've got County Dublin, Galway, and Cork, and we have visitors. And we are going to insert a map, a filled map chart. And we'll see when we insert the map chart that it doesn't actually recognize anybody. We have country, region, state, pro province county or postal code and we have counties in there and it doesn't recognize them. 
if we remove the word county and put in CO, it still won't actually recognize these as geographical locations. So I then decided to take a look. I'm going to delete that chart there. And I then decided to see if this would work with states in America. So if we go to insert and insert field maps, we can see that the states in America seem to work quite well. So again, if we wanted to then change this, we could go to format data series. We could change the map area to country region, for example. Map labels, we could put in best fit now, and we can see the labels have come in. So we have Texas and we have California, and they fit in as they can. We have Florida, and I'm gonna increase the value there for Florida, and we can see Florida now becomes quite dark because we've increased it substantially. So that is how you insert a field map chart. And as I said, it doesn't seem to recognize all geographical locations. There may be occasions where you have data selected and it recognizes some of them, but not all of them. For example, if we went into our states, because this is what we're in, and put in CA, okay, it still recognizes CA, CAL, and see if it recognizes CAL. So it does. But when it doesn't recognize something, you will get a warning up the top of your chart saying only 80% of the data points have actually been found. And that's how you insert a filled map chart into Excel.